Hello learners, welcome to the week 4 module. So let's begin our discussion with the first question. So in the first question there are two functions f and g such that uh, g of x is minus 2 times f of x and f of x is given by x cube minus 8x square plus 7x. So based on these statements we have to answer some questions that f has two turning points and there are no turning points with negative y coordinate. So uh, f of x is given by x cube minus 8x square plus 7. I don't think it is a uh, we can uh, we can find factorize uh, we can factorize it but it will be little bit tedious okay. So what we will do here is we will first find those points or we will first uh, try to find the turning points of this function f of x. So we will first uh, differentiate it so it will become 3x square minus uh, 16x. Now we, we will equate it to 0. So it will be like uh, x minus 3x minus 16 will be equal to 0. So at x equal to 0 and x equal to 16 by 3 there are two turning points for the function. So let us try to visualize it. Okay visualize it. So let us suppose this is x is equal to 0, uh, zero and this is x axis. So let's try to <coughs> understand this function x cube minus uh, if we substitute x equal to 0 then it will become 7 and it will start from minus infinite then it will like go here x is equal to 16 by 3 okay x is equal to 16 by 3 roughly around 5.33 okay so we have to find some correct option okay so let's move to the option if i has two turning points and there are no turning points with negative y coordinate this option is incorrect because this turning point has negative y coordinate the second statement says f is strictly increasing in the domain 10 to infinite uh, this seems correct okay so after x is equal to 16 by 3 it is increasing <laughs> the third statement says g has two turning points and y coordinate of only one turning point is negative this is a uh, this is uh, actually g of x is some multiplication uh, some constant time f of x okay so its graph will be like this one it will start from uh, infinite then it will reduce then it will go here and then it will lie here okay so here g has two turning points and uh, y coordinate of only one turning point is negative so this turning point has negative y coordinate so that's why this option is correct the last statement says g has two turning points and there are no turning points with positive y coordinate <coughs> this statement is incorrect because this turning point has positive y coordinate moving to the second question this uh, is a little bit tedious so we will solve it later I'm moving to the third question we have to find the number of uh, intersections point real between the line l x l of x can be given by x that means y is equal to x and the polynomial r of x where r of x is a quotient when polynomial this one is divided by this one okay so let's divide it x square minus x minus 6 and x raised 4 minus 13 x minus 42 okay so it will like x square x raised 4 minus x cube minus 6 x square minus plus plus x cube plus 6 x square minus 13 x plus x so it will become x cube minus x square minus 6 x minus plus plus 7x square minus 7x minus 42 plus 7 so it will be like 7x square minus 7x minus 42 okay so it will become 0 so we have to find the intersection between y equal to x and y equal to x square plus x plus 7 this is substituted y equal to x so it will become x square plus x plus 7 and we cannot compute it because x square plus 7 cannot be 0 
at any real points okay so that's why the number of distinct intersection point will be zero moving to the fourth question uh, there is a polynomial given x square minus 16 x minus 3 x square 2 minus x and we have to find the correct option so we can write this as p of x is equal to minus times x minus 4 x plus 4 x minus 3 x square uh, and x minus 2 x square and x plus 9 roots will be and uh, let us suppose 4 minus 4 3 2 minus 9 okay denote it on a number line minus 9 uh, minus 4 2 3 and 4 okay now substitute x is equal to 10 okay positive 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 so negative so that means it's a start from minus infinite okay s is equal to 4 comes from here so it will go there 3 so it will be like this one 2 so it will again like this one minus 4 downward and then minus 9 so like this one okay we have to find correct option p of x is strictly increasing when 4 to infinite it is decreasing okay this is incorrect p of x is strictly decreasing minus inside to minus now this is correct total number of turning points are 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay this is correct number of turning points is incorrect so moving to the fifth questions we have to find the possible representation of p of x p of x is given by this polynomial and it has polynomial p of x is odd degree polynomial so that means it will have minus infinite to plus infinite approach okay and p of x has exactly two distinct positive real loops and uh, x minus 5 is a factor so x minus 5 whole square is a factor that means 5 is a it's a root and the uh, direction or we can say the turning points will be x equal to 5 and p of 0 does not equal to 0 this is p of 0 is 0 and if we, uh, we have exactly two distinct positive real root here it is given at 1 2 3 4 5 and there are no any turning points where direction doesn't change okay so out of these four options these two can be taken as when x is equal to 5 then the turning points will take uh, take a reverse direction so from uh, this uh, two illustration we can compare p of x from these two but here p of x is equal to 0 p of 0 and here p of 0 is not equal to 0 so that's why this illustration seems correct 